here I'm asked to find the mean of these numbers. So the numbers I have are 103, 107, 106, 103 and 101. Now I can see that all of them um, are more than 100 and they are only a little bit more than 100. And I can also see if I was to take away 100 from each of these numbers, I would have been left with 3, 7, 6, 3 and 1. Now, when we transform data, uh, what we can do is we can make the numbers much more manageable for us to work with, to find the mean. So what I've done is I've transformed the original data by subtracting 100 from each value. Now, if I find the mean of these numbers here, what I would have is 3 add 7. So 3 add 7, add 6, add 3, add 1. And I would divide that by 5 because there's 5 of them. So at the top I have 10 here, 16, 16 and 3 is 19, and then 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the mean of the second set of numbers I have is 4. The mean of these numbers must be 100 more than 4 because I had subtracted 100 from each of my values. Okay, So this is when we transform data to make, make it more manageable, make it more easier to work out maybe the mean, median or mode. Uh, or other values like that. So what I do is I change all of the values in the same way. So for, I subtracted my 100 here and then I find the mean and then I reverse what I did. So I subtracted by 100 so I'm going to add 100 to this 4 and get 104 as the mean of my original set of data. Now here are some for you to try. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to transform the data below so each of these data sets and find the mean. You must show your working. So you must show how you transformed the data and then how you worked out the mean and then what you did to get the mean for the original data.